Understanding Bloodshot, Unraveling the Mystery. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to dive deep into a very interesting English phrase, bloodshot. This is a word you might have heard in various contexts. And today, we're here to clear up any confusion and help you understand what it means and how you can use it in your everyday English conversations. So, without further ado, let's get started. Bloodshot refers to a condition where the whites of the eyes appear red or pink. This redness occurs when the tiny blood vessels on the surface of the eye become enlarged and visible. There are several reasons why this might happen, including fatigue, irritation, allergies, or more serious eye conditions. When we use the word, bloodshot, in English, we're usually describing someone's appearance, particularly their eyes. For example, you might say, he had been working on the computer for hours, and his eyes were bloodshot. Now that we know what bloodshot means, let's look at how to use it in a sentence. Here are a few examples. After chopping onions for the meal, her eyes were completely bloodshot. He had a severe allergic reaction, and his eyes turned bloodshot. She could tell he hadn't slept well because his eyes were bloodshot. In all these sentences, bloodshot is used as an adjective to describe the state of the person's eyes. It's also helpful to know what might cause someone's eyes to become bloodshot. Common causes include lack of sleep, not getting enough rest can lead to bloodshot eyes, allergies, reaction to pollen, dust, or pet dander can make the eyes red and irritated. Extended screen time, staring at a computer or phone screen for too long can cause eye strain and redness. Eye infections or conditions, some more serious issues like conjunctivitis or dry eye syndrome can lead to bloodshot eyes. Understanding these causes can help in identifying why someone might describe eyes as bloodshot and also adds depth to your English vocabulary knowledge. And that's a wrap on bloodshot. We hope this video has helped clarify what this word means and how you can use it in your conversations. Remember, expanding your vocabulary is a great step towards fluency and you're doing an amazing job by learning new phrases every day. Keep up the good work, and we'll see you in the next video.